he dropped out, obviously you and him openly endorsed Joe Biden. Um, why do you feel like that was important to happen now? I feel like it's important now because like, yo, Trump is, I cannot, go. Well, I'm telling you, if Trump goes for like another four years, I'm going to have a melt, a meltdown. Like, I think I will have a mental breakdown. Like, I cannot deal with this anymore. Like, I, I do be scared of the state of the country. Not because like, oh, like, oh, like, you know, people, you know, people be like, I care about the country because I care about the people. Not only do I care about the people, but it's like, I am, I, I am afraid of the future. Like, mm -hmm. I am afraid of the future. Like, I don't want, I don't want an, a, another war. You know what I'm saying? Like, like our economy, like the economy right now, it sucks. Like people are not making money. Two years later. How are people surviving? I want to know. The rent right now, bitch. Bro, I was looking at some areas, the way that the prices soar up. Nobody's even trying to sell their homes. So everybody's like, yo, when the interest rate is gr is good, that is, is high, that's great because people have to f sell their home for less. So you could buy a home for less. And it's like, it doesn't matter if the interest rate is high as f and And actually, it's not even inventory. That's one. But that's another, that's another sh how are people surviving? Shut up. You done said enough. All right. You're in the first stages of your little Kim phase where your whole face is starting to look like little Kim. So you need to stop talking about politics, period. Stick to songs. All right, guys. So we got to talk about a celebrity that is having a case of buyer's remorse when it comes to who she voted for and endorsed and told people to go out and vote for and support in 2020 and we gotta talk about no other than cardi b who for whatever reason uh people actually cared about her political opinions during the 2020 election cycle when she was out here endorsing people like bernie sanders and joe biden um not because she actually really knows or believes in the things that they say or, or really kind of understands their policies she just hates trump right and she was told by her handlers that she got to come out here and kiss the ring of the democrats okay uh and you gotta hate trump right that's how you can elevate your brand that's how you can get more endorsement deals this is how you continue to bring in millions even though uh you have no real talent uh you can't sell any albums your music's garbage doesn't matter right as long as you're on the right side of the political aisle um you will always have money coming in and you will be in the good graces of the establishment so Cardi B um, did that, right? She came out and she endorsed Bernie at first. And then after that, she endorsed Joe Biden. And now uh, she is having buyer's remorse because of the consequences of her actions, her vote, her telling people to go out there and vote for Biden, which is inflation, something that we're all dealing with, okay? And she has been having meltdown after meltdown on Twitter about inflation, right? And she put this out recently, this tweet. She says, nah, grocery shopping prices are ridiculous right now. You might as well eat outside. Yeah, this is not the first time Cardi B has expressed concern about inflation, but it, it just seems that she can't put two and two together as to why in the world are we having this inflation issue? But, you know, she continues to, you know, be outspoken about this issue, going as far as the next day, posting a video uh, of her ranting about inflation. Take a look. Let me tell you something. When I be complaining about food prices, and y'all motherfuckers be like, "Ain't you rich? Why you complaining about lettuce? Why you complaining about this?" That just goes to show me when you be when you become successful, when you have money, you gonna get you gonna go broke soon because y'all not budgeting. I get a summary of the money that's being spent in my home every week. So when I'm starting to see that like groceries is like tripling up, it's like, hey, yo, what the fuck is going on? I want to see for myself what the is being spent on and like when i go to the supermarket like i went to the supermarket i'm seeing that everything tripled up that like lettuce was like two dollars a couple of months ago and now it's like seven of course i'm gonna say something the because if i think that shit is crazy i could only imagine what middle class people or people in the hood is motherfucking thinking so yes i'm going to say something the and i have a big platform so i do want anybody that's responsible of these prices to put that the down they're going to see my shit, they might put it down. So shut the f Yeah, so Cardi B, <laughs> right, 
um, you know, apparently has become an economist, okay? Because she's been very, very, very outspoken on this issue of inflation. Like I said, it's not the first time that she's been so outspoken by this. And I can get into my talking points about how, you know, Cardi V voted for this, right? She supported this in 2020. This is what she signed up for. It doesn't seem like that she can connect the two together. Her vote and the results of her vote, okay, the economy. But you know what I'm going to do? Because I don't want to be accused of being sexist or hating Cardi B because she's a woman, right? I'm going to let a soul sister I'm gonna let a soul sister set Cardi B straight on inflation. I know damn well Cardi B of all people is not complaining about <laughs> inflation. I gotta sit down for this rant. First of all, <laughs> first of all, you the one who pushed Joe Biden on the American people, especially the black people and Hispanic people. You did that. <laughs> you the one who got on your lives supporting this racist son of a. <laughs> you the one sitting up there talking about. Jail reform, jail reform. You know the president that you supported, that they paid you to support, and that you f***ing screamed everything for was a racist and back the three strike law and wanted black men to be murdered in jail. Did you not know that, bitch? Shut up. Shut up. You done said enough. All right. You're in the first stages of your little Kim phase where your whole face is starting to look like little Kim. So you need to stop talking about politics, period. Stick to songs. Stick to songs about your. Okay, that's what you're good at. Other than that, politics, if you say one more, shut it. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, wow. <laughs> Again, I don't think I could have said it better than that, okay? She said everything that needed to be said, right? Cardi... This is what you voted for. This is what you came out here and stopped for. You told your constituents to vote for this. You used your platform to uh, support and to vote and to bring in record amounts of inflation. And the crazy part about it, guys, is that Joe Biden wasn't even her ideal candidate, okay? Her ideal candidate was Bernie, who would have spent uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten trillion dollars on on the stimulus, right? So imagine if Cardi B actually got what she wanted, which is a Bernie Sanders presidency. Um, we could be talking about inflation in the 20, 30, 40%. Okay, that's what we could be talking about. Okay, we could be talking about inflation that we never seen before. We could be talking about hyperinflation. We could be on a one-way trip to Venezuela, right? If Cardi B got her way in regards to her politics and her voting. So, I mean, look, everybody is kind of destroying Cardi B for this because... You know, again, you voted for this, right? Um, and now you're complaining about it. You're the main person complaining about inflation when this is what you signed up for. The Hodge twin says, stop voting for politicians that only care about getting money. Um, <laughs> Matt uh, Bentley says, that's literally all of them after a few months in office. That's the way the system sustained itself. It's why it's so corrupt. The persistent Scott Preston says, I agree. This is why we need to elect a Republican president in 2024 <laughs> y'all remember this y'all remember all these people these people out here dancing <laughs> right doing the jig okay all these black folks <laughs> right doing this when biden got elected now all these people struggling you struggling just like everybody else you struggling with inflation but y'all out here dancing over joe biden getting elected <laughs> right absolutely crazy <laughs> Cardi B says she got up early to vote for Biden at first. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, man. Yeah, again, it would be funnier if again people weren't suffering because of this. Um, you know, Cardi B, man, she's she's the stereotypical un uneducated voter. Right? Well, all you have to do is say a whole bunch of stuff about race and you know women's empowerment. A whole bunch of platitudes that don't mean anything, uh, and you can get their vote, right? Uh, but then they're the main ones complaining when they are hurting under the Democrat administration, right? It's the, it's these same people that, again, you know, they voted for Obama because they thought that, well, a black man is going to change racial issues in America, right? He's going to make it better for us, okay? They voted for him just because he was black, right? And then they're complaining about uh, police brutality under Barack Obama. You know, Black Lives Matter started under Barack Obama. It's kind of crazy how that works, 
right? It's, it's almost as if, again, these, these platitudes, these empty promises that have nothing to do with actual economics, that have nothing to do with actually improving people's lives, that, you know, don't really help the American people that are more just about virtue signaling and wokeness. It's almost as if that doesn't mean anything, right? That doesn't actually improve people's lives when you're out here signing, you know, um, anti-lynching <laughs> and hate crime bills while also spending trillions and trillions of dollars in a already red hot economy, incentivizing people not to work, literally paying them not to work. Um, yeah, there are consequences to that. That ain't improving your life, okay? Um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You know, um, you hate to see it, but at the same time, you kind of love to see it. However, the problem is that these people are still going to come out here in 2024 and they're still going to vote Democrat, <laughs> right? They're still going to vote Democrat because, I don't know, racism, sexism, bigotry. And this is why it is hilarious to think that Cardi B actually believes that people are going to listen to her and her rants about inflation, uh, talking about, you know, somebody better fix it or else, right? Or else what, <laughs> right? You're not going to stop voting for them. So again, they have no incentive to fix anything right because you guys are gonna vote for them no matter what because you're brainwashed it's kind of crazy let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace